Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about how to evaluate a postfix expression. So in the previous video, we studied how to convert a given infix or, uh, expression into a postfix expression. Now we'll see once we have a postfix expression or if we are given a postfix expression, then how to evaluate it, okay? How to find the value of it. So uh, let the postfix expression that is given to us be stored in a variable named postfix exp and now to find the value of this expression we have to traverse this expression character by character from left to right. So suppose the character that we are seeing right now is a operand. So only two kinds of characters will be available, will be present in a postfix expression. Either it will be an operand or it will be an operator. So if the character that you are seeing is an operand, you directly have to push that operand onto the stack. Okay. Otherwise, <clears throat> sorry. Otherwise, if the character that you are seeing onto uh, in the postfix expression is an operator, then what you have to do? You have to pop out two elements from the stack. Now, why two elements? Because the operators that we are dealing with right now are binary operators. So, any operator that we see will require two operands uh, to, to perform the operation. Okay. So, you pop out two elements from the stack. You apply the operator that you are seeing right now in the postfix expression. And then whatever is the result of applying this operator on the two popped out elements, uh, then push that result onto the stack. So, since in the stack, we are only pushing the operands. We are only pushing values. That is why whenever you pop out the two elements, those elements will also be operands only. So, basically, whenever you see an operator, you are popping out two operands, you are performing the operation on those two operands and then pushing the result back into the stack. Now, when uh, all this, uh, all the characters in the postfix expression are traversed and there still is a value, a single element that is remaining in the stack, then what you have to do, you have to pop out this element because this element will be the final result, the value of the postfix expression. So as long as you have characters in the postfix expression, you have to perform step one and you have to see whether you have to push on the stack or pop out elements and uh, find the, uh, their result and push it on the stack. Once the characters from the postfix expression are over, you have to pop the final single value remaining in the stack and that will be your output or the result. Okay. Now let us consider an expression for an example. Let our postfix expression be this 782 star which is the multiplication operator 4 division and plus. So let us traverse this postfix expression character by character. The first character we see while traversing from left to right is 7. Since it is an operand, so we'll push it onto the stack. We have pushed 7 onto the stack. The next character that we see is 8. So 8 is also an operand. We push it onto the stack. So the stack now has two elements, 7 and 8. The third character that we see is again an operand. So the operand 2 is pushed onto the stack and the stack now contains 3 elements 2, 8 and 7. The next uh, character that we see is the star uh, operator, the operator that performs multiplication. So as we saw in the rules right now, we uh, when we see an operator, we have to pop 2 elements from the stack. So the stack consisted of top elements as 2 and 8. So we popped out these two elements, 2 and 8. We applied the star operator. That means 2 into 8 will give you 16. And we pushed the result. Okay, so the result is 16. So the stack now contains element 7, which was initially pushed to the stack the very first time and the result of the current operation which is 16. So the stack currently contains two elements 16 and 7. Now let us see what is the next uh, character in the postfix expression. So the character is 4. It is an operand therefore we push it onto the stack 
and the stack now has three elements 4 16 and 7 the next character is division division is an operator so what we do we pop out two elements the elements will be 4 and 16 which were present in the stack we perform the division operation okay so 16 divided by 4 will give you 4 and uh, uh, you have to push the result back into the stack so the result will be 4 and that is pushed onto the stack so the stack now contains two elements 7 and 4 now the last character in the expression is plus so again you have to do the same you have to pop two elements the elements will be 4 and 7 and now you perform the sum the operation the summation operation so which is 7 plus 4 which is 11 and you push the result onto the stack okay now the characters in the postfix expression are over so what you do you are left with only a single character sorry a single value inside the stack and this value is 11 so you pop this you pop out this value and this value will be your output or your result so the uh, value of this postfix expression is 11 so that is how you evaluate or find the value of a postfix expression i hope you have understood this concept in the next video we will be studying about how uh, to perform uh, all these functions on different examples in the back exercises so stay tuned to our channel thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam